Yeah, go. Okay. Hi, everybody. Here's our story time for today. Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present by Charlotte Zalotto and Maurice Sendak. You'll probably recognize these wonderful illustrations because he's the guy that did to other wonderful illustrations for Where the Wild Things Are and the stories of Little Bear. This particular story won a medal back in 1962 for Best Picture Book. Here we go. Here's our title page, Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present. Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl, I want help. Help, little girl? I'll give you help if I can, said Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl, it's about my mother. Your mother, said Mr. Rabbit. It's her birthday, said the little girl. Happy birthday to her then, said Mr. Rabbit. What are you giving her? That's just it, said the little girl. That's why I want help. I have nothing to give her. Nothing to give your mother on her birthday, said Mr. Rabbit. Little girl, you really do want help. I would like to give her something that she likes, said the little girl. Something that she likes is a good present, said Mr. Rabbit. But what, said the little girl. Yes, what, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes red, said the little girl. Red, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her red. Something red, maybe, said the little girl. Oh, something red, said Mr. Rabbit. What is red, said the little girl. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there's red underwear. <laughs> no, said the little girl. I can't give her that. There are red roofs, said Mr. Rabbit. No, we have a roof, said the little girl. I don't want to give her that. They are red birds, said Mr. Rabbit. Red cardinals. No, said the little girl. She likes the birds in the trees. There are red fire engines, said Mr. Rabbit. No, said the little girl. She doesn't like fire engines. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are apples. Good, said the little girl. That's good. She likes apples, but I need something else. What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, she likes yellow, said the little girl. Yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her yellow. Something yellow, maybe, said the little girl. Oh, something yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. What is yellow, said the little girl. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are yellow taxi cabs. <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't want a taxi cab, said the little girl. The sun is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. But I can't give her the sun said the little girl, though I would if I could. A canary bird is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes birds in trees, said the girl. That's right, you told me, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, butter is yellow. Does she like butter? We have butter, said the little girl. Bananas are yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. Oh, good, that's good, said the little girl. She likes bananas. I need something else, though. What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit? She likes green, said the little girl. Green, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her green. Something green, maybe, said the little girl. Emeralds, said the rabbit. Emeralds make a lovely gift. I can't afford an emerald, said the little girl. A parrots are green, said Mr. Rabbit. But she likes the birds in the trees. No, said the little girl. Parrots won't do. Peas and spinach, said Mr. Rabbit. Peas are green. The spinach is green. No, said the little girl. We had those for dinner all the time. Caterpillars, said Mr. Rabbit. Some of them are very green. She doesn't care for caterpillars. The little girl said. 
How about pears? said Mr. Rabbit. Bartlett pears? <gasps> the very thing, said the little girl. That's the very thing. Now I have apples and bananas and pears, but I need something else. What else does she like? said Mr. Rabbit. She likes blue, the little girl said. Blue. You can't give her blue, said Mr. Rabbit. Something blue, maybe, said the little girl. Lakes are blue, said the rabbit. But I can't give her a lake, you know, said the little girl. Stars are blue. I can't give her stars, the little girl said. But I would if I could. Sapphires make a lovely gift said Mr. Rabbit. But I can't afford sapphires either, said the little girl. Bluebirds are blue, but she likes the birds in the trees, said Mr. Rabbit. Right, said the little girl. How about blue grapes? Oh, yes, said the little girl. That is good, very good. She likes grapes. Now I have apples and pears and bananas and grapes. That makes a good gift, said Mr. Rabbit. All you need now is a basket. I have a basket, said the little girl. So she took her basket and she filled it with the green pears and the yellow bananas and the red apples and the blue grapes. It made a lovely present. Thank you for your help, Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl. Not at all, said Mr. Rabbit, very glad to help. Goodbye now, said the little girl. Goodbye, said Mr. Rabbit, and a happy birthday and a happy basket of fruit to your mother. The end.